Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, we are going to understand how to create a simple semi-transparent glass material in Unreal Engine step by step. So let's get started. I right click on the content folder, say new folder. I name it as materials, M-A-T-E-R-I-A-L-S, materials. I right click here and say material that creates a new material. I say M underscore glass, hit enter. M underscore glass material is created. I double click to open it. You can see M underscore glass material is open in the material editor. I docked this uh, material editor beside the level editor guys. After opening the material in the material editor, we have to define three core material properties. They are material domain, blend mode and shading model guys. Material domain, I am going to select surface because we are going to apply this material to a 3D surface. We are going to use this material to give look and feel to a 3D surface. Next, the blend mode, I am going to change from opaque to translucent. If the object is completely opaque, then the blend mode should be opaque guys. If object has 100% opaque areas, 100% transparent areas, then the blend mode should be masked. If object itself is a semi-transparent object or it has semi-transparent areas, then the blend mode should be translucent. Next, we can change the shading model here from default lid to subsurface profile. When we use the shading model subsurface profile, the light passes through the object guys. Next, if we are applying this material to a plane or something, we should enable two-sided guys. We should enable two-sided here. For example, if I am weaving this material on the plane, okay, if we do not have two-sided, then you see the other side you don't see anything. Only one side you see the material getting applied. So make sure it is a two-sided material. So you see everything properly, you can see here, that is fine. So material domain, surface, blend mode, translucent, shading model, subsurface profile, and then two-sided guys. If you want to enable metallic, specular, roughness, all these things, then the lighting mode here, the lighting mode, you have to change volumetric non-directional to surface translucency volume here. Now we get the metallic, specular, roughness and all here. You can see that. Next thing what we do, we define the base color or what should be the color of the glass. So I right click here to define the color, we take help of constant three vector node. And let's select white color here at present. Okay. And connect the pin to base color. You can see now our plane is going to look as a white plane. You can see. Next we can define the metallic. Of course, glass is considered as a metallic object. To define the metallic, I take help of the constant node. If the constant value is 0, that means the object is non-metallic. If the constant node value is 1, that means the object is metallic. Guys. So definitely glass we consider as metallic, so I have given the value 1 here. Next, we have to define the roughness. I drag a wire from this and search for the constant node. If roughness value is 0, that means the object is 100% smooth. You see, it's reflective, right? It's reflecting the surrounding. We can add some roughness to this, for example, 0 0.6 or something. Okay, now it is a rough surface. You see that? Next, we are going to define the opacity, guys. To define the opacity or the translucency, we take help of the constant node again. If the opacity is 0, you see that the object is not at all visible. If the opacity value is 1, the object is completely visible. If the opacity value is in between, you see it looks like a transparent object, right? Now we are, we have created the transparent glass. Let me change the base color from white to black. Okay, that looks good for me. You can see that we have a transparent glass created guys. That is how you create a transparent glass. We can add some refraction value. So refraction value, I select here constant node again. For glass, the refraction value is 1.52 as per the Unreal Engine documentation guys. So I'm taking here 1.52. We have successfully created the simple semi-transparent glass material guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you to try it yourself guys. I say save. I go to level editor and then go to place actors, go to shapes. I drag and drop the plane here and then I am going to rotate it by minus 90 degree here and then I move it up, press the F key to focus and apply the material on it. You can see we have successfully created a semi-transparent glass material guys that's it guys for this video tutorial if you like this video hit the like button and uh, share with your friend so that everyone will get benefited 
In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Unreal Engine. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep gaming and keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.